Hi, Laurie, Dan, Patrick. I see that you are a legal immigrant. Welcome to the United States the right way. That's good, Laurie. Uh, we've been uh, answering questions, as you know, from our website, Twitter, and Facebook. And Laurie's question, by the way, I'm in the middle of lunch, Laurie, if it's okay. Chick-fil-A, good Christian conservative sponsor. Drinking my Diet Dan Patrick Cola. And uh, only on my Patrick plasticware. Uh, Laurie, the question is, which is a serious question, can you tell me how to protect the border? How am I going to do it for the flood of illegals? Let me, Laurie, let me share this with you. From 2006 to 2012, we apprehended about a million 100,000 people crossing into our state illegally. From 2008 to 2012, we apprehended and put in our jail 141,000 hardened criminals that we identified as being here illegally. We charged them with 447,000 crimes, and including 5,000 rapes and 2,000 murders. It's a serious issue, and that million that we caught in six years, we probably think we get one out of five, so another four or five million got through. Here's how you do it, Laurie. Number one, you have to have a lieutenant governor that says this is the number one priority for our state. Any society, as my friend John Hagee in San Antonio likes to say, Pastor Hagee, any society that does not use its freedom to defend its freedom will lose its freedom. We have a responsibility. It is the federal government's responsibility to secure the border, but it's our problem. And we can do it with manpower, uh, with money, and technology. And one of the reasons, Laurie, that I voted against the budget last session was because we, we did not prioritize securing the border in our budget. Uh, and we haven't really uh, in the last several years. So as Lieutenant Governor, it's a matter of money and manpower. We need more GPS troopers, several hundred. I want to increase the State Guard from 2,000 to 5,000. Those are all volunteer folks. Uh, they want to help. Uh, we'll have to use National Guard where we think right. But we're going to put the message out, Laurie, that Texas is not open for business if you're trying to come here illegally and particularly if you're a criminal. And don't forget, Laurie, the other thing that I always am concerned about is the potential for terrorists to cross our open border. So uh, we're going to do it. I know how to do it. We'll get it done.